And here we are. We have made it to the airport because, well, next stop is Las Vegas. Alrighty. So, made it through airport security. Next stop, I get to the gate and then um, off to Vegas. You guys are really gonna like what's going down because it's all about Corvette. Major shout out, major thank you to GM and Chevrolet for having us out because I'm such a major Corvette fan. Having our own, it is so much fun. But today, well, tomorrow and today, we're gonna be going to the actual Corvette racetrack. So it's gonna be so awesome. Alrighty, almost a baggage claim, and then we'll be meeting up with Chevrolet. So sorry for the delay. Okay, we have made it to the M, and then right behind me, we have the, the Corvette all ready to go. Behind us, we've got our own C8 Corvette for um, the adventures out here in the desert, that being Las Vegas. And uh, I chose this one out of the batch because, um, namely, it is a 3LT, right? But also, it's got, it's got the full tan interior with no rear wing on it. So it looks really incredible. And I can draw a really good basis of how the non-Z51 car compares to the performance model on the racetrack. So you know what guys, let's go ahead and I'm hop inside, hitting the unlock button, say 2021 model year. So the latest version from Chevrolet and it is put together right with all the exposed carbon fiber absolutely everywhere. Check this out, I'm so excited about this. The C8 is such a fun car and you can see how nice the 3LT is with the suede slash Alcantara everywhere, the custom stitching. And look at that, it actually shows the Corvette logo on the mode selector and it just, it feels so nice to the touch. We gotta order our Z06 Corvette like this when the car comes out and I love the carbon fiber everywhere, it's super cool. Let's start up the car and then head to Pahrump, Nevada where um, the official Corvette racetrack is um, located. So l let's do this. Okay, this is it. We have left Las Vegas and we are driving directly up this mountain right next to it. This is so much fun. I can't believe we're actually going to Pahrump, Nevada, Spring Mountain Raceway to join a Chevrolet at the Corvette Racing School. I mean, this is so exciting. If you buy a new Corvette, you actually get the chance to come out here, sign up and learn how to drive your vehicle hard on a road course. This is how you experience a car, you know, and look how amazing it is out. So the sun is going down. This vehicle is so amazing. I love the 3LT design with the suede everywhere. It's just so nice. This is what it's all about, you know. Chevrolet fully embraces these cars are made to go on the racetrack. There's so much to learn about this vehicle and for a lot of individuals who are first buying it, they may have no experience with any mid-engine cars. So in general, if you look at it, um, this is the perfect opportunity to um, experience what it's like. Okay, we're almost here. We're about a few miles away. And as we straight off to the right, um, we're in Pahrump, Nevada right now, and the sun is still going down right in front of us. Anyways, you'll see the track coming up very shortly. We have made it Spring Mountain Raceway, joining Corvette Chevrolet right there on the banner. This is amazing. Let's pull and check in. We're gonna have dinner, and then um, I think we're gonna have actually our own room here at the track. I mean, like those villas on the racetrack, houses. So um, it's like thermal with that in mind, and you can see them off to the right. So um, this is a very incredible experience that they've put together. <laughs> Oh, oh, you still got it. Let's open this thing up, man. What, what, what's, oh, there's nothing in here. <laughs> this is it. We have made it to um, the kickstart of the night. Now we're having dinner at Chevrolet and also a lead engineer that works on the Z06 Corvette. So a really, really fun to talking with him. This is actually in an undisclosed location on the racetrack over here at Spring Mountain Raceway. We are inside of a massive villa on the racetrack and it is super cool because the owner of this actually owns the same red Codaseg Agera that set the 278 mile per hour um, top speed record over here in Nevada. 
Now, they actually set that record on that same stretch of freeway we drove on to get to this racetrack. And you can see on all the walls, he's got photos of his Koenigsegg, and also I think he owns Pagani as well, a Waira. This is so awesome. Imagine owning your own house on a racetrack. Overall, it's a really fun night, and a lead staff member at Spring Mountain was actually going over their future plans to expand the facility and create the biggest racetrack in America. Stay tuned for that. Also, they went over the entire school itself and what to expect um, tomorrow. Anyways, let's call it a night and then um, I'll see you guys uh, shortly in the morning. And this is it guys, welcome to Spring Mountain Raceway. Here's the villa you get hooked up with when you go to this Corvette driving school. And when you buy a Corvette, you do get hooked up with this. It's part of the experience, it's $1,000. But real quickly, quick tour of this room. It is absolutely amazing. It is 6.56, sun just went up. We gotta be outside by seven. And there's the racetrack. So come in this way, check this out. Door is open, look at that view. It's already getting pretty warm outside because we're in the desert, right? But um, turn one at Spring Mountain, it looks so amazing. All the Corvettes down there, ZL1s, even Cadillacs. So it should be super exciting. Um, the kickstart today, we're actually going to have to get on breakfast together. Everybody is. So um, let, let's get outside. One last quick tour of this um, room. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. What a terrific night of sleep. And you're all prepared for the racetrack the following day. This is going to be so much fun. I mean, the racetrack is where these cars come alive. You know, I always say in the videos, take your Corvette to the track at least one time because, because you get to experience um, the full potential of the vehicle, you know? This being the first ever mid engine Corvette, there is so much potential because the platform, the way, the reason why they went down this route was for performance. And you instantly notice that, well, realize that on the racetrack because getting out of each corner, getting on power, you can get on power super early, being mid engine, it puts on the power extremely well and the entire car feels so balanced in every stage of a corner, that being entry, mid corner, and even exit. And then enjoy your morning, right folks? Very nice to meet all of you, all right? Okay guys, here we go. About ready to go out on track. First time on this layout with Spring Mountain. Helmets absolutely everywhere. The neck restraints, and then also the tires on display. And then the racetrack we're actually using right there. Okay, this is it. We've got the lineup of CA Corvettes right here. This one finished in Accelerate Yellow. And I mean, it looks absolutely unbelievable. We got the official track decals all over the vehicle and this experience in general. Oh my gosh, check that out. Zora, proper um, representation right here, guys. But uh, it also, they do have um, the side rockers finished in black. So um, that is a cool touch. My car does not have that. And um, it will help with when it comes to driving the car on track and not having as many um, pieces of rubber and rocks hit the side of the car which um, is one thing that you really do notice all the time. The track we're going on is straight that way. Oh, there's a high wing spoiler, a C8 down there. In general, um, there are over 100 C8 Corvettes here in one location, and they run multiple schools at once, two to three. This is a proper racing school right here, and it allows drivers like you, if you bought a C8 Corvette, to, to come out here for just $1,000, get completely set up at an amazing country club resort, and then go on the racetrack with a car that's not even yours, track it, and tracking, you gotta realize, it causes wear. You know, I think these are brand new um, PS4S tires. I'm not sure they look brand new, but in many ways, these cars are fully um, worked on after each event. They get maintenance done, they refresh them, so you're not paying for any of the maintenance wear and tear that you would if you tracked your own vehicle. And I mean, the, the prices, they add up. Follow me, I'll be leaving you folks in this yellow Okay, so a lot of interesting differences between the 2021 CA Corvette, guys. And then you guys can also roll up those windows both sides. Anyways, a, a lot of interesting differences between... Okay, it's a little easier to hear over the radio. That's the way we teach it, ABS, ability to brake and steer. You guys approach, it's very simple. Pretty much when your tires touch this water, that's when he's going to point you. Okay, here we go, about to start the next exercise. So where I'm at, um, this is where we'll start from. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get to the back side of that orange top, number one. I want to be down nice and tight to the back side of the cone with my left rear tire, in this case. If I do that correctly, it helps me set up for my next one, all right? Okay, shifting my focus across, waiting for that visual cue before I start to turn, and I'm there. Now I want to be tight to the back side of this yellow top, number two. Yeah, I can make a little straightaway here. Again, down tight to the backside of this number three marker. Get a nice little rhythm 
going to it. So it's basically an exercise where, where you practice looking not in front of you, but left and right for the apex. So a very good idea actually for an exercise. It's gonna be really helpful if you guys don't know, um, you know, how to drive on the racetrack. Okay. Okay, so what are we doing here? Uh, we're putting a sunshade in the windshield. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get you set up. Need help? Yeah, you're good, there you go. So for the visual acuity right? of looking for the apex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're all set and I'll talk you through it. Sounds good. Perfect. Oh my gosh. All right, so Austin, when you're ready, uh, again, same procedure as before, a nice straight line looking across to your left. Be patient. I found a cheat code for this. So, all so the way if you go to the Corvette yellow. Academy, don't say I told you this. Look now to the right for the green. There you go. That was good. front good cameras. Right we got cameras all over the place. So we there can perfectly line ourselves up. <laughs> Looking left. And this is it right behind me. Our uh, track car for the day is a 2021 CA Corvette convertible, the hardtop convertible, which is um, completely new from Chevrolet. That being a foldable hardtop. And initially, you know, came out 2020, so the second uh, model year. And in general, this is a 3LT spec vehicle. And I'm very excited because I own a 2020 uh, coupe, a hardtop coupe, um, that will target top, you could say, because you can still fold the top away um, in the trunk. But this style vehicle, the way they put it together, I mean, the actual um, retractable hardtop is so amazing. I, I love what they do with it. It reminds me so much of like the spiders that you see for like the 720S and other exotic cars and there's a massive audience space for that as you know with, with convertible ferraris etc and this is chevrolet's first take at a convertible convertible a mid-engine um supercar with that being said i just love I, I love these floating haunches right behind the driver and also you can move up and down this window right behind your head so on track what we can do is we can lower that so we can get more engine noise in the car without all the wind noise so we're going to definitely try that once we go out but but in general i am just super excited about this because being a convertible you know it's going to be very different than, than my coupe and it's going to be a higher weight caliber with it that being said this vehicle is still made to hit up the racetracks so you should be completely set to still use it and the chassis rigidity is going to be probably the same the cars themselves the chassis they're the same this adds extra weight and adds a very very incredible appeal to the vehicle
Well, there you go. Getting out of the CA Corvette HTC hardtop convertible on the racetrack. And I mean, this car is so much fun out there. It comes alive. And with these Pilot Sport 4S tires that come with the Z51 performance package, you don't just get the enhanced aero, also the upgraded cooling and the extra five horsepower with the upgraded exhaust. But you get bespoke tires that were custom made to get extra performance out of the vehicle. And at the racetrack, these are definitely um, tires that you can get to the limit and it is a very gradual experience and the limit is extremely high so so it's not like um, one of those average street tires that you would buy off the shelf now this has been engineered for this car and also they are basically run flats um, because you can run them on, on essentially no air and it won't actually pop or flatten like your normal tire so with that in mind these tires perform fantastically on the road and on the racetrack and with that being said it's tuned so well with the dynamics of the car that being the, cha the chassis also the DCT tuning and the limited slip differential so that you can launch this car super super hard off you know a straight line get sub three seconds zero to sixties but then with that being said go to the racetrack get unbelievable amounts of grip in the rear end then also have plenty of front end grip and here's another funny thing with the CA Corvette if you drive it like a mid-engine car I mean it is so beautifully balanced and I've said this so many times after going to Laguna Seca, Chuck Walla, Willow Springs, a Fontana, everywhere with my car and it is so true and getting inside of the convertible um, this experience doesn't really change um, yes it does weigh a, a bit more but that being said you also get an experience that is very very nice because driving on track you can lower that back window so you're getting extra noise right behind your head so it sounds really really good and then nonetheless um, driving you know up and down let's say Las Vegas when it's cooler out being able to lower the top as you wish driving up you know past 20 miles an hour is fantastic but then again even though it is a convertible you can still take it to the racetrack and have so much fun so, so, so if you do own a CA Corvette or a hardtop convertible a um, non-coupe I think you definitely try it at the track at least one time because you start realizing what what the car can do and you'll understand why they you know transitioned to mid-engine and everything with this car has a purpose for example the, the front windshield that produces front and downforce because positioned right here above the front axle also the side intakes you can run all day long at the racetrack 105 past you know 110 degrees and i've never experienced any power loss no heat soak nothing like that today it's been very hot out here in Pahrump, nevada in the middle of the summer and the car's been perfectly fine no brake fade and nothing like that so the cooling and with all that in mind the vehicle is ready to go from the factory if you opt for the z51 performance package and also i'd say with the stock one as well anyways guys please let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of the, the, the corvette experience here the ron fellows performance driving school at spring mountain raceway it was so much fun anyways though guys make sure to stay tuned for much more great corvette content coming out your way because um you know we still have our car we're also buying another one the new c8r and that should be here pretty soon i think so it's gonna be so much fun anyways though make sure to subscribe for much great content coming out your way also hit the like button, just help me out, and I'll see all of you in the next episode.